Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. And now, self-admittedly, there aren't too many animals that freak me out, but I'm holding one of them that does right now, centipedes. I have never been a fan of centipedes. I think it goes back to when I was a kid. They used to be in the basement of my family home and they would just freak me out. So, me holding this right now, that's a big deal for all of you. But I want you to introduce you to a couple centipedes that we have in, in Montana. This is the garden centipede. And a lot of times they're actually confused or called um, with another animal called a symphalin. That's a really weird animal. Uh, a lot of times those are going to be white. And those are what you find under logs and rocks just like you do these guys. But the centipedes that we have here in Montana, we have a couple di different species. And there's a lot of different species out there. And the biggest that we have in Montana is the, the common desert centipedes. And they're huge. I mean, these things could be six to 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 almost a foot long, which is just crazy. Now this particular species, they're only gonna be about two to six inches, not much bigger than the one that you see here. Now the biggest difference between the centipedes and the millipedes that we have in Montana are the legs, and that's how you're gonna tell apart. Millipedes have four legs per body segment, so two legs on each side per segment. The centipede, only two legs per segment, so one on each side of that body segment, and that's gonna be the best way you could tell them apart. Now, the other thing about centipedes, is unlike millipedes, you know millipedes, we've talked about them before, when they're upset, they roll into a ball and then they can secrete a poison that tastes really bad so when you're eating it. Centipedes, they don't do that. They don't roll into a ball, they fight. And centipedes can be pretty vicious, especially the bigger ones. They've got some pretty good little pincers and they can inflict a pretty good painful bite on whatever is attacking them or whatever they are attacking. Now, it's also believed that there are some, uh, believe it or not, centipedes, that, well they do know, that are venomous especially some of those big ones like the Vietnamese centipede. Believe it or not, they've actually been known to kill people. Rare, but nonetheless, they have killed people in the past. Now, these little guys, pretty harmless. Uh, this guy has been on my hand now for, gosh, probably a good 5-10 minutes, and he has not inflicted a bite whatsoever, so nothing to worry about. But look for these guys under the rocks when you pull up those rocks to look what kind of cool insects or bugs are under there. You probably will come across one of these guys here. And believe it or not, these guys, as, as well, I think they're kind of gross, but they're cool, but they do a lot of good in your garden. You want to keep them around because these guys are going to be eating other insects and other bugs and larvae that may cause damage to your gardens or to, to your uh, your plants around your, house, your, around your home. So they are good to keep around. You do want them. And I have to grip my teeth and bear it. I may not like them, but boy, are they important for the environment. So guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with our little garden centipede.